Hi, so in this video I'm going to assign the electronic configuration to the transition metals. So I'm going to choose some that are a little bit more complicated to go through. So let's do chromium. So chromium has 24 electrons and let's do valadium that has 23 electrons. Now I'm going to do the abbreviated form to save my arm from writing up all the possibilities. So this is when you find element number 24, which is your chromium, you go up and to the end of the period before. So you want the closest noble gas that is before that element. So for chromium and valadium, that would be argon. So argon would account for the first First 18 electrons would be in your argon. So then you're looking at what's different after argon. So after argon, I've got six electrons here and I've got five electrons there that I need to assign. So this one would be one, it would be actually 4s2, 3d4. So that's what I'd have. So I'd have argon, 4s2, 3d4. So 4 plus 2 giving me my 6 electrons. Now, this is how you'd write it following the rules. But what we know about the d orbitals is when they're half filled, they drop in energy. And when they're completely filled, they drop further. So this makes the electrons be promoted from the s block up to the d block if they can reach those magic numbers. So to half fill them, because there's five orbitals, we would be looking at number five, so a D5 or a D10. So if we can promote those two S electrons up to the D and hit D5 or D10, that's what's going to happen. So with this one here, I could go 4S1, 3D5. So promote one of these three Ds into the four, uh, into the 3D to the 4 to give us 5 in that in that um, in those orbitals. So that would overall lower the energy of that atom. So for valadium we've got the same. So we've got argon, we've got 4s2. I don't need five more electrons, so it would be 3D3. So 3, 4, 5. Now you can see at three here, I could take two from here and reach that magic number of five. So that's what the answer would be. So promoting those ones up. And that promotion will overall give it a lower energy. Now with the 4S0, whether or not I write that in, that's optional. Okay, so I don't need to account for that, I could just write argon 3d5 and that would be your answer. So it gives you a bit of ideas about how to do those transition metal ones. So there will be a pattern, so anything that's got 3d4 that will promote one up, anything that's got 3d3 um, that will promote two up, so it will be the 4d4, the 4d3 would do the same. And then when you're getting to that magic number of 10, so if it's got d8, it's going to take 2. If it's got d9, it's going to take 1 to reach that number 10. So promoting from the s up to the d to give it an overall lower energy confirmation. So thank you for watching my video and see you next time.